Now at 11, Tigard police asking for help as they are looking for the man in this surveillance video. You see right there, they tell us that man broke into the Tigard Tualatin School District building. Thanks for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Din. I'm Jeff Chianola. That break in has been happening for over a year, over and over again, and costing the district thousands of dollars. Eric Yakabazi joins us live in Tigard tonight. This is caught on camera, so do police have any solid leads in any of this, Ariel? Well, Jeff, Liz, the only lead they really have is the video and the pictures of that one man and his car that you just saw on your screen there. But Tiger police say they believe that one man is responsible for all five burglaries. Anytime someone is burglarized, you lose that sense of safety. A case stumping the Tiger Police Department for several months. At this point, we have at least five different reports, and they date back more than a year. Kelsey Anderson with Tiger Police says the burglaries started back in August of 2023 at the Tiger Tualatin School District Resource Wing on the same property as Templeton Elementary School. She says a few items were moved inside, but they don't know if anything was taken at that time. But in four more break-ins since, there has been thousands of dollars worth of damage and stolen property. In one case, it looks like this individual stole clothing items that would have been set aside for students in need. And in other times, it looks like he was stealing office equipment um, and some higher priced electronics, things like speakers and laptops. You can see the burglar doing just that in this video. And he keeps making appearances at the same building over the course of a year. I'm told the most recent burglary happened two weeks ago on Tuesday, September 24th. Please help if you recognize this individual or the car he might be associated with because we're really hoping to identify him so we can stop this from continuing. Now, police say the district has taken some extra precautions to help stop or hopefully stop more thefts from happening in the future by using motion detectors and things like that. But they still need your help in finding that suspect. And you can email any tips you might have at the police tip line. We have a link for that on our website, coin.com. Reporting live in Tiger tonight, Ariel Yakabazi, Coin 6 News.